Now before this season's trade deadline, how many people would have thought that Dallas Mavericks would make the conference finals? And to go along with that, the addition of Pascal Siakam to Indiana as well as the addition of Drew Holiday to Boston at the trade deadline this year worked wonders getting both teams to where they are now. Really all four teams that's in the conference finals now have made a significant move at the trade deadline this year that helped their team in a big way, including Minnesota trading for Monte Morris from Detroit to fill the void at backup point guard. The Mavericks were 21-9 since the NBA trade deadline this year, which would put them at a 57 win pace, indicating that they were playing at the same level of a Western Conference first seed. At the trade deadline this year, Dallas traded away with Sean Holmes along with a first round pick that OKC got in exchange for Daniel Gafford from the Washington Wizards. And of course, also Dallas also acquired PJ Washington from Charlotte at the trade deadline in exchange for Seth Curry, Grant Williams, and a first round pick with top two protection. Daniel Gafford's energy, rim protection, and lob threat abilities helped the Mavs and this changed the trajectory of their season. And Dallas got back a good scoring option in PJ Washington. Luka and Kyrie were receiving all the opponent's defensive focus. Therefore, the Mavs needed an off-ball player who could exploit the defense and relieve pressure. To me, I would say that the NBA trade deadline helps maintain competitive balance within the NBA by helping teams that are out the playoff race to make trades to help those teams. The NBA trade deadline creates excitement amongst fans and anticipation as teams look to make moves to improve their rosters for a future playoff push or to set themselves up for future success.